A few days ago, I received an email from a brother telling me that his sister had contracted coronavirus COVID-19 and she passed away a few days earlier. May Allah give her Jannatul Firdaus. The matter he raised was that she had a presence online on TikTok in particular where she did some silly things and she was just as a teenager. She did some embarrassing things as well. And now that she's passed on, they feel she would not have liked that type of a legacy. She wouldn't have liked those embarrassing short videos to be something that she's remembered for. So they tried to get it deleted, but unfortunately they couldn't. They say they've contacted TikTok and whoever else to try and help them, but unfortunately with no joy. Now, the point I want to raise is simple. My brothers, my sisters, my beloved children, when we use social media, use it in a way that if you were to die for some reason, you would not be embarrassed about the content that you have put out there. Sometimes people do silly things just to gain a following. Sometimes people do that which is very embarrassing, at times even unacceptable in order to gain the attention of people. If that is the case, ask yourself, would I be embarrassed if this thing were to remain after I have died? And definitely that would guide you. As a believer, we should do that which is good. We should do that which is not embarrassing if we were to die. And even if we did not die, but we need to be much more responsible when it comes to the use of social media. Who would like a legacy to be left after them of that which is not good? So my brothers and sisters, I thought perhaps this very short message would inspire you to be much more responsible when it comes to social media. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a good lesson. I pray for the sister who's passed on. I'm sure the Almighty with all his mercy and kindness would definitely look at her with the eyes of mercy. But at the same time, we also pray for the family through these very difficult days with people messaging them, some with very bad messages, yet it's not their fault at all. This could have happened to anyone. Let's use social media in a very responsible way and ask the Almighty to grant us a death when He is pleased with us.